hey welcome back to my channel guys and today in this video we are going to look at how we can add one bulk action to our table but that what i mean is let's just say if we select more than one record actually even if i select one can you see this thing coming up over here and it says delete delete selected this is what the bulk action is and won't it be great if we can have our own set of you know, bulk actions over here just for an example what if we have an export to csv you know where we select certain users or you know, filter certain users by whatever category is necessary and then i say you know select all and export a csv and that's exactly what bulk action comes into picture now we had already created this promote and demote thing so for now what i'm gonna do is create this thing as a bulk operation and show you how that can be done so that you can implement more features using that so let's get started with our code now this is part of the table component or the table package so whenever we are adding bulk actions it will have to be somewhere in the table right and this is what we have we already have a delete bulk and what we will do is bulk action make name is promote all and then we will have our action similar to what we got with our individual rows we get a closure so student dollar record and then here what can we do let's just do dollar record standard id equals this plus one and then dollar record can be saved so far so good and yeah so with this ideally if i hit refresh let's just say we have one two and three three students whom i want to promote okay it says name doesn't have a default value which is a bit weird let's see why that's the case ba, 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 ba. oh i know why i'm making a bad example over here so this is not student this is a collection my bad it is going to give me records okay and so i'll, I'll just do a dump so that you understand what i'm talking about let me refresh one two three over here do promote all and it gives me this collection with items and these are individual students so what i can do is obviously dollar records each record and then over here we can do what we were trying to do initially which is this plus one and then dollar record save that's about it so let's see if this works if everything is done properly ideally i should be able to promote these students and i am if i refresh you will see this is happening also a small tweak a method which is available obviously we have requires confirmation which we can add and then uh, deselect records after completion yes this is what i was trying to show you so hit refresh let's just say we want to select these two and promote all of them so these are two students confirm they are in standard three and the selection is gone so you can play around with these things you know as you want right and with this you know basically we have everything which we wanted however now this is fine for a, for a small set of records but i would highly recommend that you know when you have these kind of situations you do something a little more 
scalable in terms of architecture. What's that? Maybe raise an event. So for those of you who don't know, this will be useful. Uh, let's just say promote student. Okay, so what will happen is when I run this, I'll have this event called promote student. And this thing, this event when I raise, right, I will um, expect the student to be present. Okay, so that's there. And yeah, that's about it. And then we have an listener which we will need for this event so i will do a listener oops i think i made a mistake with the spelling l i s t l i s t e n ha huh? my bad sorry so that is done and over here i can do anything but not as of now because laravel so far doesn't know that when this event is fired this listener needs to work how do we map that you go to your event service provider and in this protected dollar listen array you do promote student as an event and you pass all the classes which needs to listen to this event and in that in our case it will be promote student listener now they may sound a bit similar so um, why don't we I think you you get the picture uh, or maybe you know, just to give you a more better sense let's let's do that we will have promote uh, update student standard okay and we will have send promoted email okay so i have two email i mean listeners and what i will do is i'll map both of them so send promoted email class and before that i will actually do update student standard okay so now how do we handle this so um, we can say this is not an object this is an of type student promoted promote student or rather okay so with this event what will happen is promote student has a dollar student public variable so i should be able to just do something like dollar event student hmm? that's a bit weird maybe i'll have to make it explicitly public okay dollar event student and standard id plus equals one dollar event student save like so and then we'll have obviously we will have the student model oh my bad not the student model this is promote student event and over here i can do logger i'm not going to send an email right now but sending email to student and then we can do something like dollar event student name now with this in picture let's go to student resource and we will move the i mean we will remove this code over here this update thing and instead what we can do is raise event so promote student no not like this promote 
student and in here we'll pass the record all right we have written a lot of code now let's see if everything is working properly or not i'll have to open up my logger because you know there are certain things which will happen over there and the only thing which i'm not very sure is because the event is going to happen through a listener whether this table will immediately update or not i don't think so that is going to happen so let's just see i can do this and no maybe not i'll just promote these two promote all okay and they actually updated to four which is interesting promote all so one is standard second and one is first yes it does so it's a refresh which is fine and now let's look at our logs so yes we have seen four email logs which basically means that you know those two students which i selected first you know which is 0707 right they would get an email and then i tried once more so these two users will get emails as well and yes the names does match with what we did and obviously the update function is working otherwise we wouldn't have seen this change so that's about it guys that's how we add bulk actions i am gonna create a bulk action so that we can export the entire um, student list as in csv maybe a separate video on that because that's not part of filament but definitely something which we can or rather we should add as a feature but this is what i wanted to show you the power of filament and adding bulk actions and on top of it you know this entire thing is not filament code this is you know where you can use your services and stuff like that to architect your code properly and still be in the thing of filament so yeah let me know what you think about this video if you like this video click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel